Can it really be 10 years ago? Has it been a whole decade since the Louisville Cardinals embarked on the season that would bring them their first NCAA championship? Proving to an entire city and a watching world that the college basketball scene would never be quite the same? Well, they say that time flies when you're having fun. And perhaps that's why the 80s have flown by so fast. Because ever since that first moment of glory, the Cardinals. Looking back on the 1980s, so many great memories come to mind. Memories of old friends who have gone on to the next plateau. Of rivalries that stir the blood. Of those improbable, giddy moments that remind us that truly anything can happen in this crazy game. They get a three-point shot. It's going to be Holly to now. Holly fires for three. Got it! Got it. In overtime. OT! I don't believe it. But the sweetest memories of all spring from that feeling of pride we all get when we recall the successes, one after another, that each year have added to the proof that this has indeed been the era of the Louisville Cardinals. A return to the Final Four in 1982, and again in 1983. A total of 250 wins throughout the decade. Seven Metro Conference regular season championships. Six Metro Conference tournament championships. And in 1986, the feat that proved that Denny Crum and his Cardinals were as serious about staying at the top as they had been about getting there. He struggled all game long. He came down the stretch with four fouls. He kept himself in the game. Now the man they call ice will try to show that he can live up to that nickname. had won the championship once more. But more than that, the Cards had established beyond the shadow of a doubt that they would be forever known as champions. As a team who, despite changing personnel and the passage of time, would always exhibit that consistent commitment to greatness that creates a dynasty. In more recent years, the winning has continued because the Louisville Cardinals, to a man, have been winners. The kind of guys who thrive on your support and will always go the limit to see that they deserve it. Global speed and quickness now uh, coming to the fore. They're just beating Brigham Young to the spot. Lee Payne lets it fly from three-point range. He's got it. Spencer inside. He's got it. And Denny Crum and Louisville are so familiar to fans of the NCAA tournament. Louisville has won 22 of its last 27 tournament games. And Ellison off with his fourth rebound. Midcourt to Smith. Three on one advantage. Here comes Smith. One of the things about Denny Crum's success in the NCAA, when you watch Louisville play, their players are thinking score and shot. He's got nobody who looks away from the iron. They'll all contribute when they have to. Now the interception by Smith. Lead now to Williams will go for it. And now the experience and the size of Louisville beginning to show the way. Kenny Payne trying to get free. Great pass. There is Ellison again. That's 10 unanswered points for Louisville.
with the success we've enjoyed in the 80s, most teams would get spoiled, self-satisfied that there's nothing left to prove, but not the Cardinals, because they know that the 90s lie ahead, representing more opportunities for accomplishments, for championships, for success. You see, while it's great to be known as the team of the 80s, the Cards have bigger things in mind, because they know that 10 years from now, today's future stars will be looking back on yet another decade and staring squarely into the face of the year 2000. And on that day, those young men and their fans will be able to say, we continued the tradition. We built upon the successes of the past and rose to even greater heights. And on that day, we'll know that the team of the 80s, the Louisville Cardinals, has finally been recognized for what it really is, the team of the 70s.